Hey, Travis here from Hollywood. Uh, today we're gonna go over the uh, Gator Frameworks um, desktop boom stands that are really great for uh, doing some personal recording or um, you know some solo artist type work or VO tracks or whatever, wherever you need to hold a uh, microphone um, uh, on a desktop and you kind of want it suspended using some kind of a, a little boom like one of these guys here. So. Which boom is the one that's right for you? We've got three different ones from Gator Frameworks and I'm gonna go over all those today. All right, first I'm gonna go over the uh, BM1000. Um, and this little guy is, it's got the sort of, you know, the, the less expensive springs, but this is a less expensive model. Um, this is their least expensive model. This guy's 50 bucks right now on sale. Uh, lists for 79. And uh, it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's got a couple little adjustments here for your mic. You can tip it around, screw on your mic right here. It's got a built-in cable. Uh, you can see I got it tied up here. And this is built in and comes with this. So that's included in that $50 price. So it's, it's got these springs here that'll offset the weight of the microphone. You can see it's kind of pulling up on me here. Yo, way, yo. So, and it's got knobs. If you can kind of see on this side here um, to unscrew and, and kind of tighten up this, this bar here so that you can get it where you want it and it'll stay there. Um, so this guy comes apart pretty fast. It goes together pretty fast. It's just got a little pole insert here. Gator, on all these, Gator has uh, provided a really nice deep clamp. Okay, and next we've got the uh, Gator BM2000 stand. Um, this little guy does not have the knobs, as you can see. Um, but it, and it comes with a little Allen wrench to tighten up. Kind of weird, not a super huge fan of it, but it does work. Um, now the cool thing about this guy, if you are doing a podcast or a recording artist that travels and you need to have some kind of a desktop stand, um, this little guy packs up super nice. You can see how skinny that is. And this actually comes with um, some little strappies that you can uh, secure this with, and you could you could pack this in a suitcase really easy, and it's gonna be safe. Um, it'd be really pretty hard to damage this in tra transit. This little guy doesn't have to be for travel, but it really travels well. Um, to sum it up, this is kind of their mid-level mid um, boom desktop stand. So next we've got the flagship model. This is the BM3000 Deluxe version. Um, this is the broadcast quality version. Uh, of the uh, podcast stands from Gator. Um, broadcast or radio of any kind, if you're gonna do you know, something serious where you're gonna have clients uh, at your studio or you just wanna be uh, more professional and have something that works super good that you're not gonna be fiddling with all the time. Um, that's gonna swing out of the way super easy you know, when you don't need it and then when you need to do some recording, just you know, swing it back in. Um, these are only 130 bucks. So uh, it's hard for me to um, you know, really make much of a comparison to the other two. Honestly, like this is so much better. So if you got the, if you got the cash, you want something nice, this is the one to get for sure. It's got springs in here all along the way. And these are sort of, uh, they're really well placed. Like as I was going through and tightening up these knobs to kind of get this thing where I wanted it, I could feel all the springs kind of, they're not really, they're not fighting me. They're just kind of helping keep it in place. Uh, and they're still lifting up a, a pretty decent heavy microphone. I've got a 414 in here. Um, this will take a very heavy microphone. It's in the specs so there. I don't remember what it is, but it's pretty dang heavy. And, um, you know, a 414's average, an RE20 or something like that, it'll take it no problem. Uh, and it'll keep it in place. So all of these are, are you know, a decent fit. They're re reasonably priced um, for podcasting applications. Uh, this is by far my favorite and a much, much higher piece of, uh, higher quality piece of gear than the other two that I kind of reviewed. Uh, I kind of am in love with this thing. Um, and so on the one other thing I want to mention on all of these guys, there is one of these little, there you go, you can see it. One of these little mounts. So you can switch out the mount if you'd like uh, to permanently affix it to your desk or table, um, you know, in your studio uh, or at your, your, uh, workspace. All right, one other thing I wanted to show you on the 3000, um, you've got this cable that is built in, just like the 1000. The 2000 does not have a cable. It's more of a travel model. Uh, it has its own benefits, right? Uh, it, it's pretty dang sturdy for 90 bucks, but 
Uh, it does not have a cable. These do have cables included. I mean, a cable, what, is 10 bucks, but these cables are pretty nice. Also, the cable is built in. So the other thing about the 3000, you've got a much nicer clamp. You can kind of see how much more substantial it is here. This is the 3000 clamp here. And you've got a little more clearance. I don't know if you can see it there, but you've got a little bit more clearance and some nice felt pads here. So you don't scratch up your desk. The 2000 metal, not great. You can put a piece of felt here if you needed to, if you have a really nice desk or something, you're worried about the underside of your desk, which not many people are ever gonna see. Uh, and the top has a nice rubber piece here. So that's, that's cool. It does work, but it's not uh, as professional as the 3000. Um, and this is probably gonna last you a little longer too. All right, we've got this thing in place, man. Uh, so this is the, the BM3000. I've got it set up with a 414. And I'm gonna actually just put this bad boy in place. Start using this thing, yeah. It's nice, man. It stays put, does what it's told. And it supports even a you know a really heavy microphone. In summary, um, the 1000 is a really great price point, um, but it's it's not a super high quality machine. Um, you know, stand, it's okay. Uh, the BM2000 I liked a lot more. It was fairly sturdy. Um, doesn't come with the cable like the 1000 does, so you gotta have your own cable, which you probably have. But it's it'll travel really well. The 2000 is great for travel, and it's pretty sturdy, so it can go in a suitcase. And um, the only drawback on the 2000 is the damn Allen wrench. I don't like the I don't like it. Um, 3000. I'm in love with the 3000. It's my baby. If you found this video helpful, uh, feel free to give it a like and subscribe to our channel, Hollywood DJ. If you're uh, feeling generous, uh, give us a question in the comments section if you have any. And if you want to buy one of these bad boys, go to HollywoodDJ.com and uh, pick one up for yourself. I highly recommend check checking out the BM3000. That's uh, the one that I'm using in my studio right now. Till next time, this is Travis from Hollywood DJ.